Vocab 23, here we go. Make sure you write the definition and write one of my sentences, both, or one of your own. And like it says, they're all words from conserve fresh water for the future or save water now. There's only seven words today. The first word is replenishes. So makes complete or full again. A synonym would be refills. So she replenishes the dish of Skittles since some got eaten. In the text, it says some argue that water replenishes itself so there will always be enough. Right, there's that water cycle. So just an argument about how do we think about how much water we have. Will water replenish itself fast enough or not? Will it refill? the groundwater and things like that. The next word is depleted. So it lessened drastically or decreased a lot. So the pandemic depleted the supply of medicine. It made it go down a lot since it needed to get used. The groundwater is rapidly or is being rapidly depleted. So as we use more water for irrigation, for different things, we are depleting the groundwater. We are using it up quickly. Resources, things that are available for a particular use. So there's a lot of natural resources you might have heard of. It can also be used in a lot of different senses, the word resources. Um, we have a lot of resources at school, right? But natural resources are things like that give us energy or water or um, different minerals that we use from the earth. So there are many, oh, sources. Like how we didn't use the word resources. So it'd be, there are many resources that give us energy, oil, sunlight, wind, and more. Would be a correct way to use that. Sorry, I mistyped. Um, in the text, it says conservation saves our freshwater resources. So conserving was from the last vocabulary lesson, like saving things. So this one was all about conservation and how we can save our freshwater resources, that water that's available for us to use. Non-renewable, once it's used up, it can't be replaced. So not renewable, right? That prefix of non gives us a clue about what it means. So oil is a non-renewable resource. We have renewable and non-renewable resources we'll talk more about, but oil is one of those ones that took millions of years to get here, so we consider it to be non-renewable. Um, reducing energy use will help conserve non-renewable resources. So those resources like oil and gas and things like that that are not renewable. Things like sun and wind are renewable because they can't be used up. Implement means to carry or put into action. So what new rules should we implement? Meaning should we put into place? Should we make? And then we should implement regulations and incentives is what the text said. So we should put into action regulations, which are like rules. Incentives are like good things that happen if you do something. Reduction, the act of decreasing something. So the word reduce means to decrease something. So reduction is the act of reducing something. Exercise and the reduction of sugar are two ways to get healthier. So decreasing the amount of sugar, reducing your sugar intake, the reduction of sugar. Most towns have seen a reduction in water use. So I've seen a decreasing. I think it talked about once they put in some of those rules and regulations and incentives, towns use less water. And the last word, reimbursed. So that means paid back for expenses or a loss. So she reimbursed her friend for the cost of the movie. She paid her back. One company was reimbursed about $264,000 after saving water. I modified the sentence a little bit, but that was the gist of it. They got paid back that money because they had saved so much water. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you get those down. Good luck.